Hey, I'm Mr. Ruck. Welcome to my history channel. Today, we have an exciting lesson planned for you. It's exciting because of how it changed our nation forever. The 1860 presidential election was the granddaddy of them all. Now, the 1860 presidential election featured Abraham Lincoln, probably heard of him, and Stephen Douglas, amongst two other candidates. However, those two were the most popular, they ended up getting the most votes, although, as we know recently, getting the most votes doesn't mean you actually win an election. Let's history. We are at an interesting time in our country in 1860. It is currently the presidential election then, and let me tell you, it absolutely divided the nation and set us forward on the path for civil war. The reason was slavery became one of the main issues in the election. The Democratic Party was split between pro-slavery Southerners who chose John C. Breckinridge as their candidate and those who wanted a compromise over the slavery issue. Well, they chose Stephen A. Douglas. The Republican Party opposed slavery and chose Abraham Lincoln as their candidate. Constitutional Union Party, though, their candidate was John Bell and he only wanted to prevent the North and South from splitting into separate countries. When Lincoln won, though, pro-slavery Americans were absolutely outraged and took radical action. May 1st, 1860, the great town of Chicago, and the great debater wants to be president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln himself. In 1858, Abraham Lincoln ran for the United States Senate, and he was actually defeated by Stephen A. Douglas. Now, Lincoln, a native of Kentucky, had also lived in Indiana and Illinois. Lincoln was born in 1809 in Kentucky, and his father was a farmer. Lincoln has gained experience up to this point in government, having served four terms in the state legislature in Illinois. While serving in the state legislature, he studied law and received his license to practice in 1836. Uh, after that, he decided to run for House of Representatives. In 1846, he was actually elected to the House of Representatives, but he only served for two years. In 1858, he was nominated to run against Douglas for the Senate. During the campaign, he stated, A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. Lincoln believed that slavery should not be legal in the territories. Lincoln regards it as a moral, social, and political evil. Lincoln, the Republican Party candidate, wants government to support building a railroad to the Pacific Ocean, he believes that immigrants should be allowed to come to the United States. He advocates that the United States remain one nation. A rematch? A rematch, you say? Well, Stephen A. Douglas also wants to be president. Stephen A. Douglas gained national attention when he challenged Abraham Lincoln to seven debates back in 1858, when they were both running for Senate. The focus of the debates was on whether or not slavery should be allowed in the new U.S. territories. Douglas argued that the people of each territory should have the right to decide that question. Douglas represented the Democratic Party and won the election to the Senate, defeating Abraham Lincoln. Douglas, who was born in 1813 in Vermont, moved to Illinois when he was 20 years old. He has a long record of public service, serving as a prosecuting attorney, state Supreme Court judge, and as a member of the House of Representatives and the Senate. Douglas is not a slave owner, though, but he does not object if others own slaves. Douglas believes that the people have the right to decide whether they want slavery. 
He does not want to divide the United States over the slavery question. He believes that the United States must remain one nation. He thinks the problem of slavery can and must be settled peacefully. All right. I hope you learned a little bit from there about Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas. Maybe some surprising things about how popular it was actually to still be in favor of slavery as a presidential candidate back then. Here's the deal. Part two is coming up. Part three after that. This is a three part series. So I hope you stick around for all three. But if you've already learned even a little bit, hit that like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Peace.